Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and I hope you are doing well despite of the pandemic situation that is happening all over the world and I'm um, praying for you guys, most especially to those frontliners, most especially my mom because my mom is a doctor and she, she is one of the frontliners or what we call as doctors and my mom is a doctor and I really appreciate what they are doing right now in order to prevent the spread of the virus, most especially to the employees, the healthcare workers, the um, employees that are in um, the groceries, most especially to the people who are serving right now and risking themselves for exposure and I really applaud them for their um, bravery and their service to the Filipino people and I'm very happy that I'm able to be at home and I'm able to do this kind of talk content kahit walang pasok, I'm still doing my online classes. So, if ever, yeah, dito, this time lang ako nagkaroon ng time para mag um, video, para may take advantage ko rin yung time na to, para mag reminisce, and most especially take appreciation for what I have right now, that I'm healthy, that I'm currently filming this with you guys. So, going back, um, yeah, so going back today, what we're going to do is to review one or two products that are very famous for its eyeshadows most especially Everbelena Advance and Caroline so we're going to test them out today and I have this Everbelena uh, rich palette which is here this is the Everbelena rich palette and the Caroline shadow palette this one the colorful one of course let's okay before all that we're going to go to the Lazada app and check out what's the description of this product um, by the way guys um, this is already available in your mercury drug stores look at it it's in Robinson's Galleria yeah. and most especially in Watson's yeah, I don't know where it's also available at Shopee and Lazada so better check it out if you want to buy it going back to the description of the product itself which is the Everbalan Advanced Rich Eyeshadow Palette so this palette is includes velvety matte and intense shimmer eyeshadows it contains ingredients which helps the product light on the skin smoothly. But anyway, this is 349 pesos and it features 15 shades over here. And it, its claim is that it is a... It's vegan. It's vegan. Yes. Good thing that Everbalan Advance is going through that vegan route. I really like that. But most especially, it's paraben free, cruelty free. That's a good thing. And it has a 36 months of expiry. Wow. That's a long time for a palette because usually a palette expires for one year. But it's three years. And for me, ha, guys, for powders, most especially eyeshadows, they're not really um much exposed and to moisture because powder lang naman sila, diba? So what I do is to sanitize them para ma preserve ko pa yung palettes ko. Actually, I have palettes that are already three years old but they're still working perfectly so that's it that's out the pigmentation on the eyes which is very important talaga. so the real performance will really translate when you put it on your um, lids so let's go in let's go in so I'm going to take the Zella 808 brush which I'm going to use it with the uh, pink eyeshadow on the palette itself and I'm just going to pack it on first and blending it all over the crease. So what I usually use here is just a circular motion and just to buff out the color all over the crease. Then taking this precise crease brush right here, I'm going to take the um, mauve shade of the palette, which is a little bit of pink here. What I'm going to do is just that highlight the crease color which I laid earlier. Then what I'm experiencing right now with the palette itself is that um, it's pigmented naman, pero hindi naman siya masyadong pigmented to the point na Morphe level. Alam mo yun, it's not providing enough coverage, but as of right now, the blendability is precise and at the same time, it's giving what I need. And taking a packer brush and we're just going to take that burgundy shade from the palette. And what I'm going to do is just that, pack it on sa crease and most especially on the middle of the lids so what i'm going to do right now is just to pack it on then i'm just going to blend further 
So next what I'm going to do is take the dark gray from the palette which I'm going to use a tapered blending brush and I'm just going to put it on the outer corner of the lid and what I'm going to do is just that darken the outer V then blend it all over the crease so that we can have that depth and that's and what I'm experiencing right now is just that the dark gray is a little bit patchy but not to the point na parang totally patchy. I mean, we could totally fix that with the burgundy color later. But right now, what I'm focusing right now is to properly blend the color, then lay it with the burgundy color later. And taking a um, packer brush and taking that cranberry shade from the palette, which is a cranberry shimmer. And what I'm experiencing right now is that there's a little bit of fallout. By the way, guys, wala pala tong, um spray or any kind of wet base. So this is dry application. And what I'm doing right now is just to show how pigmented the pigment is without the help of any um, wet base so what I'm going to do is just that make a soft crease di ko kailangan gawa ng concealer or mag carve kasi sa to lang it's wala lang gusto ko lang itest yung palette without any wet base para makita natin kung gano ka sheer or kung gano ka pigmented yung shimmer ba? so what I'm experiencing right, right now is just that there's a little bit of fallout but you could totally fix that um taking um a powder and a brush and what we're going to do is just that let's angle in that with that next what we're going to use is the caroline eyeshadow palette which is the color paradise i chose this because on the first place the other palettes are already the colors are already there i have already those pigments but this catch my eye like seriously it's so it's so like Hello. Ang ganda yung tignan, di ba? Ang ganda yung tignan kasi iba't bang colors. At saka, very like that, there's a revo revolutionary of colors that you could typically see on a drugstore or at Watson's, di ba? So anyway, this is the Caroline Shadow Palette which is in Color Paradise and its description is that come up with beautiful looks every time with the Caroline Eyeshadow Palette. A range of buildable and buildable shades you can wear for every mood. So, nakita ning look na ginawa ko gamit ng palette sa Instagram ko. So, I'll just put it here. And anyway, we're going to test out this palette. I hope there's a mirror. Kasi ang liit niya, pero wala siyang mirror, di ba? Kaya. Wala siyang mirror, guys. So, sana yung naligin ng mirror. Okay lang. Kung okay lang. Di ba? Kung sana may mirror. Pero ang ganda yung tignan, no? Ay, seriously. So we're going to get the green shadow from the palette and I'm going to take a fluffy, um, it's a dense fluffy brush. What I'm going to do is just that. I'm going to put it on the inner corner and further blend it to the crease. And what's, what I am seeing right now is that the pigment is not patchy. But for me guys, ha, bug pigments, most especially kapag colorful pigments, I prefer you to use a dense packer brush or anything dense of a brush. Then what I'm going to do is just that pack first, then further blend the color. Because when you apply the pigment head on with a fluffy brush, it will not blend as well as it should be. So what I'm going to say right now with the pigment itself, which is the blue, um, it's really blending well to the um, color with the green. And as much as possible, guys, what I tend to do is just that. To pack the color first, then further blending it with the fluffy crease brush talaga. Kasi, for me, the pigment will be patchy if ever it will be put by a fluffy brush head-on. And the pigment will be darker than usual. So, what I tend to do is that. To pack the color first. So, I'd really like that the color itself is blending well, but it's not as vibrant as what I've expected, but it still does its job, and it's, as what I've said again, it's not as pigmented or the coverage of the pigment itself with other palettes that I've used, which is galing sa ibang bansa mo, especially the Jaclyn Hill palette and Juvia's Place and the Jeffree Star Androgyny, but it is suffice because 149 pesos shop and very affordable shop. So right now I'm going to carve my crease and we're just going to pack on some pigment. Um, but first I'm going to take that fluffy dense brush and what I'm going to do is pack the color 
blue and blending it with the concealer and at the same time the green color which I put on the inner corner. So I'm going to get this pigment with a packer brush and what I'm going to do is that to put that on the inner corner of the eye and what they tend to do guys if pigment talaga pag shimmer to prevent falling out what they tend to do is use a concealer then I'm just going to precisely pack on the color onto the inner corner without really packing because for me what I tend to do is that to lessen the fallout what I do is just to smudge the color to the crease and to the concealer where we've put it then next what I'm going to do is to take a blue shimmer and what I'm going to do is that we're going to use that color which is the dark blue pigment and what I'm going to do is to just to blend it with the mint blue that we used earlier. It's the Ever Banana Rich eyeshadow palette which is on my right side over here. And the Caroline, um, Caroline shadow palette which is in Color Paradise on the left side of the face. So what are my final thoughts about this product itself? So first is the Ever Banana Rich eyeshadow palette which is here. It features 15 shades. What I'm going to say about the pigmentation of the shimmers, it's pigmented that you can use it for your lids. You don't need a lot of force. You don't really need to put on a lot of pigment to show the pigment because when I pack it on my brush, it and I really like it. And at the same time, the pigmentation of the mattes are blendable, but it's not that pigmented unlike the other palettes, which I really use on the um, Pagwe events, which are more shadows, which I really use it as a reference, or the Jeffree Star Androgyny palette, which also is my reference palette when comparing other palettes. Uh, what I could say with the color palette, the color palette features um, mauve shades, and at the same time, it's really a dupe for the ABH Modern Renaissance palette it really features that but what I'm probably um, having a problem with this palette is that um, it's not um, the color palette is missing with transition colors I hope that there's a transition color most especially a champagne color which I could use for highlighting my inner corner at the same time my brow bone so that's the only thing I'm having a problem with but overall it's a good palette it's blendable and I really like that it's affordable but you can use it on your events right? so I think you would um, so I think if you're going to look for a palette that's all, all there I think this you could consider you buying this if you have palettes that are having um couple my palettes na kayo na medyo may transition colors and you want to add this to your collection I would totally recommend this so yeah so for the Caroline shadow palette which is over here this is the Caroline shadow palette in color paradise and as you can see I used it on my left side of the face so I used the green color and the blue color and I've already used the other colors guys but what I'm having a problem with this palette is uh, that it's very colorful, so it's not really for the faint of heart. And I would wouldn't use this for the daily basis. You could use this for like for events, ganyan. But I would not typically use this on the daily, because to be honest, who would really use colorful shadows every day? So it's not really appealing to that much. But anyway, what I'm having a problem with this also is that the smell. Unlike the Ever Balletta Rich palette, which wala siyang ling lingering smell, parang makeup talaga siya. Pero pag dito, talagang naamoy mo yung naamoy mo talaga yung yung smell, which I really don't like the smell talaga. It really smells, I, it's not really appealing. It reminds me a lot of the Caroline Slay, uh, Play to Slay palette or Slay to Play palette. It really reminds the it's the same smell, like I could tell you. But what could I say with the pigmentation of the shadow itself? The mattes are very pigmented. I guess they are pigments, but they're not as pigmented as other palettes that I've used. Where, I mean, for 149 pesos, I mean, girl, that's it's a good, good, it's a good palette I mean it's blendable they should have shown up patches as long as you pop pack on the pigment well it's good because really guys but pigments guys what I usually do is that pack it on then blend it so when I use it on my crease that like I'm blendable and when I'm having a problem with my shimmers the shimmers are 
the wishers are pigmented naman, but not as pigmented as the other palettes nga, as I typically use. But as itong shade na to, which I used dati, this shade over here is chunky. So this is the Everbelena Rich Eyeshadow Palette, which I what I can totally say that uh, this palette is very recommendable for those people who want to spice up their eyeshadow collection, most especially test out their makeup blending skills, most especially the eyeshadow. I really recommend this for going to events, especially pag prom ganyan. You can really use this, but I'm having a problem with it is that it lacks transition color. And this Caroline Shadow Palette, which is in Shadow Paradise, I call it Paradise, pala. it's pigmented. Actually, the pigmentation is quite equal. But what I'm having a problem is that this one, some of the shimmers are not finely milled, but the shimmers here are finely milled. Like, mas gusto ko yung milled nito kaysa dito. So, it, the yellow pigment is chunky. So I hope that there's they could mill it more, and sana may improve nila yung formula nito kasi ang ganda niya. For 149 pesos at minsan lang siyang gamitin, I mean, it's a bang for your buck. And at the same time, yung Everblena Rich Eyeshadow Palette, it's 349 pesos. Like, yung both probably ko dito is that, I hope sana may mirror sila. That's it with the review of the Everblena Advanced Rich Eyeshadow Palette which features 15 shades and the Caroline Shadow Palette which features 12 shades and the color the colorful palette here is absolutely phenomenal. I just hope that they could improve the shimmers more but anyway guys thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you on the next video and please make sure to like and comment to this video and please make sure to subscribe to my channel which girl if you haven't been subscribed to my channel you are missing out so that's it thank you very much for watching this video guys and i hope to see you on the next video bye